So if you think you've seen everything in politics, how about a magician using artificial intelligence to make robocalls pretending to be the president? A New Orleans magician named Paul Carpenter was paid to use AI to impersonate President Biden for a robocall urging New Hampshire Democrats not to vote in the state's primary. Take a listen to one of the calls, a reminder to our viewers, by the way, what you are about to hear is AI generated and not actually the president. What a bunch of malarkey. You know the value of voting Democratic when our votes count. It's important that you save your vote for the November election. Again, for our viewers, that was an AI voice. That was not the president, despite the fact that it sounded a heck of a lot like him. Carpenter, who, by the way, holds world records in fork bending and straitjacket escapes, showed NBC News how he made the robocalls. NBC News senior politics reporter Alex Seitzwald uh, spoke exclusively with Carpenter and is joining us now. Alex, thanks for joining us on this. What did you learn about this robocall? Well, a lot, Yasmin. Uh, Paul Carpenter brought the receipts, so to speak. Text messages, Venmo transactions, call logs. Uh, he sent me the original audio file that he produced with a software piece called Eleven Labs. And it all corroborated the rather fanciful story he started out telling me, which is that he was paid just $150 by a consultant who happened to be working uh, for Dean Phillips's campaign. That's Biden's huh. only primary challenger. And uh, that he produced these calls and two others before that. The Phillips campaign says they have absolutely no knowledge of this. They've disavowed it. They've threatened to take legal action against their uh, former contractor, whose name is Steve Kramer. Uh, and Paul, the magician, said he wanted to come forward just to show how easy this was. And he sat there and he showed it to me. It took about 20 minutes and cost $1. Is he facing any consequences? Possibly, and he does have a lawyer, but this is such new area of the law that it's a little bit unclear. The FCC uh, did criminalize AI robocalls, but they did it in response to this Biden robocall. So that law was not on the books when they sent this call. Uh, there are investigations ongoing. The New Hampshire Attorney General's Office, which is leading them, told me they have no comment at the moment, but the investigation continues.